We expect, I guess the salespeople didn't get the memo, or they ignored it, or they have They're appointments. Too They're too busy with appointments this Monday morning. <laughs> uh, 885. Uh huh. 4177. My office number. And it's Jay Harris? Yep. Okay. Thanks for coming by. We'll get this thing started. Um, John Harris is invited here to uh, speak to you guys about a question and answer session on the simple IRA that his company is going to administer for us and to answer any questions you have. So without further ado, Mr. Harris, take on over. You want this one? Mm -hmm. if, um, first of all, have any of you guys been involved in a retirement plan? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. okay. Um, I think I'd start by saying that uh, uh, about I try to throw it out to people, especially that have never been in a plan before. About 80% of small businesses don't have retirement plans. So this is a big step for, for David and Kelly, too. It's, uh, you know, when I talked to them about uh, why they wanted to put a plan, you know, in place, because, you know, to, to remain a competitive employer, it's, it's a, uh, the, the matching program that I'll, I'll explain to you uh, is, is uh, it's, it's, it's very rich, if you will. Um, so you're going to, I hope, I hope to find that it's a, uh, an attractive benefit. But, uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself first. Um, I've been in business for about 16 years since I got out of school doing, doing the same thing. I've got a tax and accounting practice over in High Point. Um, I'm a securities dealer uh, with um, HD Vest, is owned by Wells Fargo. Uh, so our dealers out of Dallas, Texas, and when you look at this uh, paperwork, you'll see the name HD Vest, and that's why I mentioned that. I want you to know that that's, that's who the dealer is that uh, is, is going to help us facilitate the uh, plan, uh, the simple IRA plan. Now, a simple IRA plan, as it stands, is designed for small businesses, okay? It's, it's very simple, hence the name. Uh, you're not going to have a lot of the intricacies that you might have in the... Uh, 401k plan, okay? Um, it's very pro-employee, which means it's uh, very portable, it's, uh, there's no vesting, uh, no strings attached type of plan, but it is administered by the, by the company um, and uh, th through the, uh, I, I believe that we're going to do your payroll also, and mm -hmm. uh, it'll, it'll be a seamless uh, transition in terms of this uh, retirement plan, okay? Um, now, you said you didn't, no one here has uh, participated in a plan. Has anybody ever considered saving for retirement? I'm curious how this would, uh, like with the limits, um, like I think this was 10000 a year or something along those it, lines. It's indexed each year. For um, there's the other, like the Roth and the just the simple, like the regular, what would be available if we weren't doing it with the business mm -hmm. is a $4,000 limit. Is that separate from this completely? It, it is separate. What happens when you have a plan at work, mm -hmm. okay, when they, when they install this plan in this, this company, then all of a sudden, whether you uh, participate or not, if you're eligible, okay, you're now covered by a plan, whether you participate or not. And the deductibility of, a, of an IRA becomes uh, questionable then. There are limits in terms mm -hmm. of whether you can deduct it. From a Roth standpoint, you can always do that because okay. it's not a, um, a tax deduction item. So the limits on this plan don't affect the 4000 annual or 5000 annual for Roth. on the other plans? Okay. It could affect a deductible IRA. Okay? could affect that. depends on your income. depends on your income. Okay? Um, I, I, think, I think the best thing to do then is, is to go through some nuts and bolts of how the plan works. Is that what you like to do? Th th that's perfect. Just just give us your rote, you know, employee talk. Yep. Um, do you want a chair? So that you can sit um, down? Yeah, let's do that because this is kind of a small group. Yeah. I'll give you this one. You can adjust the height. Okay. Um, I, th I think what I'd like to do then is, is go through a real, a real quick nuts and bolts. Then we'll hit these questions because that's where the, 
the real learning will come from in terms of what you can and can't do and the, the values uh, of the plant. So um, as far as the nuts and bolts are concerned, it is a tax deferred um, retirement plan, which means the you choose a dollar or a hundred dollars or, or whatever you'd like to take out of your paycheck. Okay, it's going to come out of your paycheck each time you pay uh, tax deferred. Now, is your insurance done that way? Is it Section 125 uh, pre-tax insurance? Mm -hmm. Okay. Same thing uh, with, with the insurance. Uh, uh, pre-tax insurance. So when you get your W-2 at the end of the year, if you put $1,000 into this plan for yourself, it's not going to show up on your W-2. So uh, I, I like to explain it that uh, you, you're kind of putting it in this pocket and, and, and the IRS never sees it. Okay? Now, if you take it out of that pocket before the, you know, the uh, age... Uh, restrictions and so forth, and they're, they're going to want quite a bit. Uh, so we'll talk about uh, taking money out of the account. Uh, but uh, in terms of getting money in the account, the uh, uh, tax deferral uh, on the employee side, then the employer has chosen, they have an option to choose the type of match. Okay, They have gone with a 3%, 100% of 3% uh, match, which means you put a dollar in, they're going to put a dollar in. That's very, very powerful, okay? That's 100% return on your money right off the bat, okay? Now, when I say 3%, I mean that 3%, that's where they stop, okay? So if your paycheck is $100, I'm just using that for a, an example. You put in $3, they put in $3. You put in um, uh, $4, they put in $3, okay? So they're going to leave you at, at 3%. Um, can we raise it up past 3%? Cannot. That's okay. the, uh, one of the uh, limitations that the simple plan has. Okay. They can reduce it, uh, but they've chosen to go with the, with the actually the, the, the richest match, which is the 3%. Okay. Um, so is that, is that pretty clear? Uh, I'd like to, like to make sure that everybody's nodding their head as when we talk about free money. <laughs> Tax-free money is a good thing, but free money is even better. Um, <laughs> The, in, in terms of the money, when it goes into the account, uh, you're going to have the choice. American Funds is one of the oldest mutual fund companies in the business. It's been around since the 30s. They have some of the largest mutual funds in existence today. Uh, they, are, they are very, uh, I'd say, conservative by nature. Um, they're not a flashy fund company. Uh, how many people, tell me how many people even know what a mutual fund is? Anybody? Any, any, any guesses? What's that? Learn about it. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a beautiful uh, type of, uh, it, it's a way for the uh, retail investor, such as yourself, an employee of a company, to actually own stocks and bonds without having to pick stocks and bonds. Okay? A, a, a mutual fund, and there are uh, nearly 30 that you'd be able to choose from in this company. Uh, each one of these is a company inside itself. Okay? Uh, stocks, you own the company. Bonds, you loan money to the company. Okay? Um, with uh, a, a mutual fund, there may be billions of dollars in one of these funds managed by 50, 60, 70 people. Okay? A very large operation. Uh, their job is to take your money, invest it in the stock market. They go out and visit these companies. They go out and, and, and do the due diligence and find out where uh, they can make good returns on your investment and uh, uh, you reap the benefits of most of that return, okay? Um, stocks and bonds have been the, uh, have, have outpaced any other investment over a long period of time uh, that, that <clears throat> the average person can get involved with. Uh, it's a very inexpensive way to invest, okay? Um, once the uh, money comes out of your paycheck, we take the match. Each time you run the payroll, the money will go into your account. You're going to choose, or I'm here to help you choose, an allocation. If you're not comfortable with this, that's my role. Okay, I will help you with, with an allocation in terms of getting set up. We'll change it as we go along. Um, you know, I welcome people to call me. Uh, I, I say that with all sincerity, and, and, and I, I get a little discouraged that people don't don't take advantage of it. You know, please do. Uh, American.